Revelation 638. From the 24th of October 1938. State of Mind. Thoughts of God for Help, Refinement. People do not pay attention to their spiritual state when they are in the midst of daily worries. They go about their earthly work and are not in the least concerned about connecting with the eternal Godhead. Therefore, they cannot establish the relationship of the child to the Father, and so they remain separated from the Father in heaven as long as they are too busy in earthly activities. The simplest solution would be at all times the self-referral of the divine grace. They would then create in such great measure, and also their earthly activity would be blessed by the Lord. As far as the thought of God accompanies the way of life, the earthly child is in an indescribably happy situation, because with this thought also the spiritual forces go to him, which stimulate the earthly child to spiritual work and protect it from relapse into completely earthly interests. Man begins the real work on the soul, if he only deals with the divine being in thoughts. If he asks in his inner being the question, what is the purpose of earthly life and in which relation he himself stands to the divine creator? Then he has given himself willingly into the power of good spiritual forces, which now make use of this power and for their part apply everything to keep the thoughts always in the same direction. That they deal unceasingly with infinity and their creator. Who once directs his spirit into such paths? will also change his own being at the same time, because thoughts about God, which is always preceded by a turning away from the earthly, will explainably result in a self-improvement, which is again an influence of higher spirit beings on the sense of the people. But the power will, then only reach man in all fullness when his heart has become a love. When it cannot help but give love out of the God consciousness. Then man more and more puts away his bad habits, he spiritualizes himself more and more, and the greater will be the influence of his spiritual friends on his soul. Then man's striving is easy, if he willingly surrenders himself to this spiritual power which is well disposed towards him. What at first caused him unspeakable trouble has now become easy work for him, which he joyfully fulfills. To know what task God has assigned to man and to be able to fulfill this task with all his heart, is already such a proof of divine grace that the gratitude for it will drive man to the most eager striving. For to go through earthly life without knowledge, makes this earthly life a heavy activity that does not satisfy the soul. As long as the connection with the Father is not found, the days on earth are lived uselessly for eternity. Only when love is active in man, consciously or unconsciously, man begins to truly live on earth. The spiritual state will then be a bright one, he will look at everything around him discerningly, he will give in to the fine impulses of the heart and seek and find inner peace in the thought of his creator. He has recognized life's only purpose and now eagerly seeks to fulfill it. He only looks at everything from the point of view of this realization and willingly lets himself be guided from above. The auxiliary power sent by God to man. And his path must now lead him safely towards the eternal home and his divine father. Amen.